Hello guys, welcome back to the Chero Tips and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix Sonic Front Rear's controller or gamepad is not working or you're having controller issue on Sonic Front Rear when you're trying to launch it on PC or laptop and how it can fix itself. So your first step is all about you have to restart the game, that is what you have to do. For that just close the game, I mean close the Steam, then just do a restart on your PC parallelly, then go back to the Steam once again, then launch the game. And see whether you are able to fix the issue or not you can try two methods all together one is just close the steam then uh, restart your pc then launch the steam once again then try to launch the game that might be working moving to the next one is all about you have to enable or disable steam input for that you just have to do is just have to go over here select the game right click and go to properties now from here you have to click on controller and as you can see, override for Sonic Frontiers, right now this has been set into use default setting. So just change this to uh, enable Steam input, then try to launch the game. And if it's not working, most probably when you change this to enable Steam input and launch the game, this will be working. But in some cases, if it's not working, then just change this to disable Steam input and try to launch the game. And even if it's not working, then just keep this as the default. Most probably when you're having the trouble, just change this to enable steam input, then this will be working. But if it's not working, like I said, change to disable steam input and see. And if it's not, the both the enable and disable steam input is not working, change this to use default setting. That is what you have to do and try to launch the game and that may be working good. Moving to the next one is all about you have to configure the controller. For that, you just have to do is just go at the top on the steam, click over here and navigate to settings. Now click on the controller and click on big picture controller over here that means uh, you just sorry just click on general controller setting just go for continue now as you can see you are in the big picture mode and here as you can see so here we are having many options like guide and button focus steam playstation configuration support xbox configuration support switch configuration support use nintendo button layout combine pairs of join joy con controllers generic gamepad configuration support so if you're on the xbox sorry if you're on the playstation tick this one and if it's not in the playstation and if you're on the xbox select this one and if you are on any other just select this one so what you have to do is you have to select according to the respective one for example i haven't selected anything here and imagine that i'm playing the game on the playstation and i have to select this one and if i'm playing it on the xbox select this one if i'm on any other platform i have to select the respective one so that is what you have to do so here we are configuring the controller and see whether you are able to fix the issue or not even after trying if it's still not working we just have to move to the next one that is all about you have to unplug all the external usb devices using uh, all the usb and also you have to unplug controllers joystick hot wheels etc everything so when you launch the game sometimes this will be the issue so what you have to do is before launch the game just unplug everything unplug everything in the sense unplug external usb devices controllers joystick hot wheels etc everything you have to unplug then you just have to launch the game if you're on the joystick and if you wanted to play the game on the joystick just connect it back and if you're on any other devices just connect it back after launching the game successfully moving to the next one is all about you have to launch the game in the steam big picture mode and launch the game for that you just have to go over here uh, you can see at the top right there is a big picture mode just click on this one go for continue and when you go to continue this is the big picture mode and this is how it looks like now from here what you have to just navigate to library and as you can see we are having sonic from here just click over here and click on the play and most probably the issue will be completely fixed but even after launching the game if it's not working just select this one once again and go to manage game over here when you click on the manage game you have to select controller options and now as you can see steam input per game settings has been set over here so we'll be having an option like this by default this will be global setting just change this to force it on then click on ok then launch the game and if it's not working this change this for that just go back to the manage game once again then click on the controller option steam input should be changed to force it off just click ok go back and launch the game and even if it's not still working then we just have to change this to default go to controller option change this to global setting none just go for okay then go back then you can just exit the uh, i mean you can exit this one that is called over here just click over here at the icon then uh, you can exit big picture now you are back to the pc and from here you're on the steam and these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out 
when the Sonic Frontiers controller gamepad is not working and how we can fix this up. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.